This is Chris from BNK Painting. In this video, we're going to show you how to spray an exterior door that's um, already on the site on the house, and we're not going to take the door down. Um, the house we're actually painting today is it's going to be sprayed the same color, and the side man doors to the garage are typically the same color as the base. And it's a pretty simple masking process. We use a 3M hand masker. We're going to mask the footings off. We're going to mask the two doorknobs off, and we're going to mask the inside of the door. Here, we've actually masked the inside to make sure no overspray goes through. We just use an inch and a half tape all around the inside of the door so overspray won't go on the inside of the trim. We put it all the way around the door. We actually put it on the back side, this side of the door, too, and then we put it on this side also. And then the handles, we just leave the handles on, and we're just going to take some masking short strip of masking, uh, one inch tape with nine inch paper, and I'll wrap it around this handle. And I want to keep it about a sixteenth of an inch away from the door so when we go to pull the masking off, it won't actually pull the paint off. Because we're going to pull the masking off while the door is still wet. So we're going to wrap this masking around, and this has to be perfect. You don't want the masking actually touching the painted part of the door, because then that part of the door won't get painted. You only want it on the doorknob itself. We wrap it around, and then we'll just twist it up here. The bottom uh, weather strips, we usually pull the weather strips out. They'll usually just pop out and come down. On this house, the previous painters painted the weather strip and it doesn't look very good because it's half painted and um, half not painted so we're actually just going to paint the weather strip to make it look better. We're going to close this door. We're going to leave it cracked just slightly so the paint will get around all the edges. The door jam's actually been sanded and then it's been uh, got two coats of peel bond on it because the door jam was in really bad shape with peeling paint so we put peel bond on it and caulked it and then that will eventually be trimmed out with the white color. Um, I got the sprayer set up because I've been spraying the exterior. I just keep on my same tip. I'm, I typically use a 617 or a 621 to spray the exterior. That same tip is going to still be on the gun with the long extension. I just stand back. I'm going to aim it to the inside so it's actually going to shoot and get inside the cracks. So. I want to make sure I've gotten underneath the masking, so I'm going to pull the trigger down here so I'm not pulling the trigger in the middle of the door causing a spit. Come up. And then I've got to get it to this side, so I'm going to shoot it from this angle and release, release the trigger over there. And then I'm going to look all around the handle, make sure it's completely coated. It can come from the top down, and then make sure it's completely coated on the edges. And at the top, the door looks completely coated. That's exactly how you spray a door jam or a front door or a side door.